You're listening live to Overtime, the official sports talk radio show for Nichols State University, 91.5 KNSU. Welcome back to the third quarter of Overtime, ladies and gentlemen. I am your host, Mike the Shirzy. It is Fan Poll Friday, ladies and gentlemen. It is almost that time. We have one quarter left till we kick off Fan Poll fourth quarter. And I cannot wait. Now, again, it's a topic I'm excited about, so I'm going to keep reiterating it. Go on Facebook. You can like our page, Overtime on 91.5 KNSU. That's our Facebook page. Then... Our Twitter page is at KNSU Overtime. It's Fan Poll Friday, as I said. Our athletes overpaid. That is our big topic for today, and I cannot wait to talk about it because it is one I feel there's a lot of diverse opinions about, and it's a touchy subject for a lot of people. A lot of people feel they make too much. Some feel, you know, it's worth it, but... We'll get into that on the fourth quarter. Coming up on this quarter, on this third quarter of overtime, we're going to talk some baseball. I know I've been knocking it recently because of all the hoopla going on with it, but at the end of the day, I believe the sport, I do have an attachment to the game to an extent, but it is sort of wearing thin on me. Um, But, look, this is a guy I grew up watching. Um... And I tell you what, he is by far the best at his position of all time. Not even debatable. If you try to debate otherwise, well, you're wrong. There's no opinion here. It's just straight fact. Mariano Rivera, the closer for the New York Yankees, is going to retire after this next season. And I'll tell you what, Mariano Rivera, you want to talk about a guy who just got things done. Um... And what's crazy to me about Mariano Rivera, he did it with a fastball. He threw three fastballs his entire career. He's got a four seam, a two seam, and a cutter. Now, for those of you who may not have pitched or don't know too much about difference in pitches, uh, the, different, the difference between a four seam, two seam, and a cutter are the grip on the ball. Uh, you grip them differently, they break differently, basically. And typically you see pitchers, they have an off-speed pitch that, that's above average to good, at worst. You'll see, and if they don't have that, they usually have a great breaking ball, and most pitchers have a good fastball, at best. Or at worst, excuse me. Um, but Mariano Rivera did it with three fastballs, three different variations of a fastball. Now, for his career... I mean, he's got a career 2-2-1 ERA. He's got over 1,000 strikeouts. Now, saves are, what are, saves are what is important for a closer, and he's got 608 of those, and he leads the all-time list in saves. Now, question I got, where does he rank among the all-time great Yankees? Because, look, to me, pitching is more important in the game of baseball. The pitcher, when you basically look, Miguel Cabrera, for example, was voted, I think, the top player, top 50, uh, the top player in baseball right now, which I think is false. Miguel, Miguel Cabrera is great, phenomenal hitter. But is he more valuable than a Justin Verlander? I don't think so. Um, thing is, when you got a pitcher on the mound that you know is not giving up anything, Justin Verlander gets on the mound. You know you're surrendering maybe one or two runs. And teams sort of understand that. He's going to dominate you. you got to take what you can get. Hitting is a little bit different because most batters have weaknesses. So do most pitchers. But, again, a dominant pitcher is a heck of a lot more valuable than a dominant hitter. Now, where does he rank? Look, to me... I really don't see how you could put anyone above Derek Jeter as far as Yankees go. And that includes guys like Babe Ruth. Sorry, Babe Ruth didn't play against the best players in his era. Maybe that's not his fault, but at the same time, uh, the game's really a lot more organized than it was back then because 
guys back then had other jobs. Baseball was just something they did for fun. It was like a recreation league. Now it was big, obviously, and they made good money doing it. But, again, guys had other jobs. So where does Mariano Rivera rank among the Yankees? You know what? I'll go ahead and stick him in the top five. Here's my top five. You go Derek Jeter. We're talking about top five Yankees of all time. Derek Jeter, number one. Uh, as much as I dislike the guy, you got to go Joe DiMaggio, two. I'll go Mickey Mantle, three. Mr. October, four. Or, excuse me, Babe Ruth, four. Mariano Rivera, five. Then I'll throw in Mr. October, six. So, you know, it is what it is, but look. Pitchers, I feel like, especially closers, dominant closers are so undervalued in baseball, it's ridiculous. And Mariano Rivera is the best that ever... He's the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. I know that's a bold statement, but I just don't see a dominant closer ever coming in and being this good ever again. At least in my lifetime. At least in my lifetime. And... As I said, I feel like pitchers are more valuable than hitters in baseball. We're going to take a quick break here on overtime. Stay tuned for the fourth quarter. Last chance to get ads. Our athletes overpaid it. It's Fan Poll Friday at KNSU Overtime on Twitter. Overtime on 91.5 KNSU on Facebook. It is your last chance to weigh in on your thoughts on whether or not athletes are overpaid. Tune in for the fourth quarter. 